The overall goal of this procedure is to resect the terminal ileum and cecum and perform an ileocolic anastomosis. This is accomplished by first ligating the ileocecal blood supply. The second step is to remove the ischemic portion of intestine. Next, the ileocolic anastomosis is constructed. The final step is to inspect the anastomosis for integrity and patency. Ultimately, the effects of ileocolic resection may be determined in various models of disease. So visual demonstration of this method is critical because the resection and anastomosis require a high level of anatomical detail. To begin, transfer animals to a new clean cage absent of all solid food for 24 hours. Allow free access to water and liquid diet until the time of the procedure. Autoclave all instruments required for the procedure ahead of time and clean the operating surface and anesthetic nose cone with 70% ethanol. Next, arrange an operating microscope anesthetic machine, and surgical supplies comfortably within the working area. Instruments, sutures, cotton swabs, and a 10 milliliter syringe should be placed in a location that permits easy access while working. Set up an overhead heat lamp to provide warmth during the procedure and light for the operating surface. Finally, fill a 50 milliliter conical tube with